Okay, so we are back. Oh, I am back. <clears throat> so, um, I, I wanted to tape this. It's all dry and everything, so it's good. Um, but I wanted a little bit of height. So I've got this um, sticky padded um, thing that you can put under furniture to give it a little bit of height because I want my resin to go over uh, I don't want it to go over this this part here so I want that to stay as is we're gonna see I, I don't know I haven't done this before but I like experimenting and I get um, comments in my Facebook group people saying that I'm brave I don't know if I'm brave or mad or whatever but I think I'm just adventurous and I get bored with the same things so I'm just going to place that on there like so Let's see how we go with this one if yeah okay right up so here we go I am going to use my fingers to spread this. I'm not going all the way up the top because I can always do that later. Right, tilt it. Well, it just lifts it immediately. That's so cool. Around this hole a little bit. You don't really need a lot of resin. So I'm going to tilt it now and get it down there. Oops. Might use my little stick actually. Working really well at the moment. If it if it leaks underneath it, that's okay. I'll just sand it. There's always a way. So I'll just wait for it to start setting a little bit, and then I'm gonna take the tape off. I don't want to wait too long. whole thing in now. Use my hand, do the sides, make it nice and presentable. Now I don't have the tape on the side so I'm just going to sort of wing that a bit. Okay, let's get our white. And I want quite a bit in there. Which is not a lot. These pigments are just amazing. <clears throat> okay, this is mixed. Not a lot, as you can see, there's not a lot there. So I'm going to move my pigments out of the way. And here we go. Oh my goodness. Now to do this. I'm just going to go straight across here. Because I'm going to blow it that way. And then get my torch actually oh 
Wow, that's crazy. <clears throat> just popping some of this white on the edges here so it looks like a complete picture I've still got some of this white I haven't mixed it properly so I've got to give it a good mix and then go again <clears throat> because here it's showing and I'm not happy with that. Good, good mix. And scrape this stuff off. good now and I'm going to hit it again with the heat gun. Low speed first. can see that this material has soaked up the resin but that's all right let's just see what happens so I'm just gonna swoosh my hands over I want it to go over there like so Wow, that feels so warm. So it's happening. Okay, well that's not bad. <clears throat> that is not bad. I like that. It's not bad at all. I'm gonna add some of this white over here. Minus the hair. Just use up what you can. 
bit like a wavy thing happening here. Producers, but in the meantime, what I want to do is do one of these. So I'm just adding some waves. horizon there, closer to the horizon, so it looks a little bit realistic-ish. So that's all I'm doing is dipping my part knife into that leftover resin and just going, so it'll probably move, which doesn't really worry me too much. It's going to gonna do its thing. I'm just giving it a little bit of height because it's closer to us so it'll the waves will be bigger and this is just a nice big wave just here that went bang just want to tilt it a little bit more the reason why I'm doing that is I'm giving a really cool edge here so it looks like the, the wave is actually just crashed onto the beach and popped up. So, I don't know, I don't know how, whether it looks alright or not, do not know. We shall see, we'll see what we will see, it'll do its own thing and then we'll just uh, have a look, see what happens. Okay guys, so my little barrier thing didn't work. It's soaked up full of resin and it just did not work. So I'm going to try and preserve some of that resin. And it looks like it's going to be covered in resin. The whole thing, except for that part here. So that's no problem. All I have to do is just smudge that across and then... Um, I'm going to have to give it another coat of resin, just a clear coat, just to fix these bits. And I'm just going to go around with the whole thing, because there's not enough resin in there now. And there's nothing left in here, a little smidgen. Well, that's what happens when you're experimenting with things you don't know. Definitely, this thing definitely didn't like the resin. I still think it's a pretty cool idea. Just doing a painting and then covering it and then doing an effect. So, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I would like to know. I'm just going to add a little bit of resin up here just for a bit of fun. So I've got a couple of drops left and I need some clouds, maybe. Use my hand again to just swoosh it around. And then wipe my hands and give it a good a good um, torching. Guys, I don't know. I think I might just leave that as is, just for a bit of fun. At least I'll have something out of the idea that I had. So, let's see what happens tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi, back. <clears throat> it's been a day. It's all set. And I'm a little bit stumped with this bit here. And because I kept filling with it and I ended up covering the whole thing. So, I was thinking, this looks like a crashing wave. Like So, I'm thinking about putting just a little, like a big rock, a little big rock just there and let's see how we go with that I need sort of a oh that's too much black I need um, a grayish color and then we'll let that dry and then I'm going to try and play with some more white so let's just see I hope I don't bugger it up but if I do it's uh, it's going to come off real easy so let's say there's a rock just there okay yeah, you can use a brush if you want I'm not too fast.
just going to give it a little tidy up over here. How easy is that, eh? Finger painting. Okay, so that's pretty cool right there. Actually, I might just do something here. It looks a bit too neat. Okay. Add a little bit of splash and then hopefully we'll preserve some of this. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then fingers crossed. Um, I'll just do something from here. Oh, that's very strange. Got one little piece of glitter in there. Can you believe it? Where the heck did you come from? So I'm just going to dig it out with my sharp tool. I only just noticed it because the light was shining on it and I can see it shining. I don't want it there. So it's right in that last layer. Oh god. Okay, I got it out. Bugger. Things like this can happen. I just have to drag it out. It was really embedded in there and I managed to poke that straight through the timber. But that's okay because it looks like a little bird there now. It's actually like the shape of a bird. Which is cool. Wherever I can see that I've missed something, I'm going to add a bit more Keep moving around, having a look underneath. And while that is there, and then torch again. This is a long process, but it's quite fun to do something different. Let's do it. So let's go. I'm going to get some of that water in here. It's already moving. I only really need a little bit. Maybe some up here. And let's go. I'm going to spin it around, guys, so you can see what I'm doing. Do it that way. Torch again. Ready? What I can do is add some more of my clear just here, and that will go straight through that really, really thin. Um, pigment and push it out of the way so you can see my, my wave there. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm happy with that right now. So now I just have to watch it because it will move. It will move a bit. I need to add a little bit more white here because I burnt my um, resin a bit. So it, it's um, changed color. I'm just adding a bit more white there. Just to fix that bit. Can happen and you don't see it straight away. You see it after. So as soon as you see it, start fixing. So that will all blend in nicely there. Okay, finally the last stage. Really, this painting, it just took so much out of me. Try to challenge me, but it's alright. I'm up for a challenge. This has been done in a few stages. And now I am just applying the coat, the last clear coat. I'm still not giving up on my idea, it just it didn't work on this piece, but I never give up and like I said, love a challenge, nothing like a good challenge, so I will um, uh, put my uh, idea into action soon, but for now I'm not um, too disappointed because it turned into a nice piece. It did take quite a few uh, layers. So hang on a minute, how many layers? First layer was the actual finger painting. And then it had a layer of um, clear and some of the white, which is that one. And then another layer of clear and some more white. Um, and now this one. So what's that? Three, four, one, two, three coats of resin and one of the paint. But um, it was quite interesting working on this one. I've learned a lot. And that's the best way I learn. But I tell you what, I will bring you closer so you can see all the layers because you can actually see the layers through it looks a bit 3d and um, so it was well worth it I just didn't achieve what um, I imagined but that's okay that's for another piece and I'm sure you will be able to see that one day very soon 
So just spreading this. I'm holding this over because I'm gripping it every last little bit of that clear. Um, making sure that I get all of it out or as much as possible. Could use my hands, which is what I normally do. But um, at the moment, I'm enjoying this, and that's what it's all about enjoying your art. I am. Um, I get people comment sometimes in on my Facebook group about getting um, asked to do a painting for somebody, and they um, they hate the colours and they you know they can't do it because they're not feeling it, but they will still do it because you know it's a customer. You got to be comfortable with what you're doing because it will reflect in your painting. If if I didn't love the painting that I'm doing, it would show on the painting, you know? And, you know, somebody might like it or love it. That's that's a whole you know, different thing. But to me, I won't do it unless I'm comfortable with it and I like it. Because I put all my feelings, emotions in into my, my art and that's how I work. I'm going to torch this now. I don't know if I've got any gas left in this. Oh no lucky I have a couple more torches on hand. Just getting rid of these bubbles now. Quite a few bubbles there. Okay, moving on. I have mixed a little bit of white. That's probably even more than what I need, but I will need to fix this, these sharp edges here. So that's what I'm going to do. Fingers crossed. Um, where's my other this? Okay. So just gotta make sure that all my bubbles are gone because I will not be doing a lot of torching after I do this because I want to leave it alone. That's why I've got to make sure that I put everything. You can, you can um, see the change in the resin straight away with the temperature changes because today is quite a cool day and we've had really really hot days up until today so my resin is doing some weird stuff although I do have the um, air conditioner running on warm to make sure that I've got the consistent temperature in here but I can see that this resin is not liking it so I've just got to watch it okay let's um, get crack a lacking. Okay, I've got to turn it towards me now so I can have a look and see what I've done. 
All right, I think that's a little bit better now than what it was because I've got that, looks like the a wave spilling over onto that rock. A little bit over here. I'm just giving it a little bit of interest, a bit of excitement. you will be able to see I definitely needed something because you don't want that to be just plain white that's not exciting You can see that wave. I'm only very lightly dipping, just just at the end of the the stick, you know, because you don't want too much. This white really stands out, so you don't want too much. And of course, this will move, and then it'll look terrible. So you don't want to put too much on there and totally ruin your work that you've been working on so hard. Just give me that 3D effect right there. And fixing that up. I've got to watch it like a hawk so it doesn't move too much because that would make me very sad. And I don't like being sad. So wherever I see that there's some bits that look a little bit odd, I'm just adding a little bit of excitement and fun. I don't know, it's just white, but white above this clear looks pretty cool actually. So here's my stick. I'm going to move this up a tiny wee bit. So I'm just moving that clear and it's pushing. I'm not touching the white, it's pushing that white out of the way and it's creating um, a different look. Happy with that, just a little bit more fiddling 
to do and then I will be I'll be happy then but not too much just some of these bits that have moved just have to fix them a little bit like that with a bit of white because I want it to give that a bit of a 3d look it's just an illusion optical illusion But, um, through that lacing that I've got from underneath there it's quite cool I could play with this for a little while until it starts to to set properly just to make sure that I get what what I want and also add some more up here A wave. I'm not sure if that was there. Yeah. Fix that wave. That was the last coat. Just give it a little bit more depth. One more here. Sky is looking pretty good, don't need more, but I've got some more white, so why not? Let's give it a little bit. It's good. A little bit more here. And that's it. Maybe a jumping wave up here, just a tiny little bit, see how that makes it more balanced. The jumping wave. This is just the clear I'm putting on. It just breaks up this white a little bit so it doesn't look too solid. careful not to add too much I'm literally putting a drop on and moving it cutting through it just to create that um, bit of a break through them so it's not a solid white which probably looks pretty solid from up there but um, yeah I will bring you down in I'll actually bring it down now and then I want to focus on um, really oh, this torch is gone, I might have to use my big torch I want to focus on just watching this so it just dries beautifully but for now I will bring it down in a second so you can have a look okay okay guys and gals here it is let's go real close it's still very wet just so that you can see that Oops. Um, 
the 3D camera's gone a bit crazy trying to zoom in and here's that what I was telling you about the um, to break up that white a bit with the clear creates nice texture well it looks like texture but it will be flat and here's some of that 3D I love that it's still moving so I'm just going to watch it and hopefully and look at that doesn't that look look real water you just want to jump in and go for a swim there's some of those waves if I zoom in on that look at that look at that looks like a real wave crashing and then we go up into the, the clouds and that look good it was well worth it like I said it didn't turn into what I wanted it to turn into it just looks like a cloud hovering in the sky so quite pleased with that I hope you liked it and hope you're patient with the whole process I just got to watch and make sure that this thing doesn't move too much and then I will be real happy I think all right that's that and next thing is just sticking on this video the end result thanks so much for watching